there, back to Katie Star, and today I will be doing a new video. Now, of course, we just finished a series of unfortunate events, so I decided that, well, I wanted to do something that is not book related and something I also learned in school. But before that, I would like to thank you all for 200 subscribers. I'm really happy that I got 200 subs and hit this milestone. And now, for that, I'm gonna do about fossil. Now, this one is the one I learned about in science class, but I think it was pretty interesting to learn about, so that's why I decided to do on this topic. <laughs> three types of fossils. Now, of course, the first step you have to do to become a fossil is die, basically. So basically, um, it's about where you die and how you die and what happens to your body when you die. So basically, the only thing, if you want to be a fossil, the only thing you can control is where you die and how you die. I mean, how you die is a very low factor, but I mean, just where you die, even though you die at the exact perfect spot to be a fossil, it's not even, it's not even like that you will be a fossil because only 0.01% of all living things become fossils. Now, there are three possible types of fossils. One is getting stuck in tree sap and when tree sap hardens, it becomes amber and then that becomes a fossil. But this mostly only happens to small animals and insects because if a big human gets in there, even though the tree sap is big enough, the tree sap will break because the organism is too big. So even though it's likely for a big organism, most big things that are found in tree sap are mostly actually made by humans inside tree sap, then hardened by itself. So most of them, that are big things would mostly be in two other things. The second one is called mineral replacement. Now, the making of a sedimentary rock, which has a four main steps, which is weathering, erosion, compacting, and cementing. Weathering is the act of breaking down of rocks. Erosion is the carrying away of um, the parts of the rocks that are broken down, or sediments. Compacting is when all these sediments layer up together and cementing is when there's like a compressing and this becomes a rock. Now the fossil comes from in the compacting part where the layers add up and then like the animal gets stuck within the process in there and then when cementing happens then it becomes inside the rock which makes it a fossil. Now the third way is the only way that the animal didn't die there. The animal just left its parts there. So let's say that an animal walked on soft clay and mud and then suddenly that soft clay and mud hardened to become rock or something else. That is an impression fossil. So basically the most likely places you will become a fossil is one in very deep down on a lake because Usually, this process happens in millions of years, not counting when they find it. Some fossils people haven't even found. So, you have to be under a lake, you know, and under the lakes there's sands, or maybe even under dirt. Now, most of the reasons people and animals don't become fossils is because they decay, get decomposed, or just get eaten by ants. Now, of course, there's a lot of scavengers that eat dead things like vultures and hyenas. And also, well, decaying of things is pretty a lot because even though you try to prevent a dead thing to not decay, well, mummies don't become fossils. And decompose is, oh, well, you know, if every single animal dies, then why, if like a lot of animals die in the jungle, people don't actually go and keep animals dead from the jungle. So why don't we, there's so much be dead stuff and waste in the jungle? Because there's this type called decomposers. Now decomposers are bacteria, fungi, or worms who try to suck up waste and make them become nutrients. These are the main things that things don't become fossils. 
which is only, once again, only 0.01% of animals become fossils. I just thought this was an interesting fact and wanted to do it for a long time. Um, I might make new videos. I'm planning to do one more book series. <laughs> I'm starting to get out of books soon, but I, I will try to try to read more books and get more books into it so this video, this channel can continue going. And I want to try to do it, just do it forever. I did this to around three or four, three to four years, and I think I can continue to make this channel go on further and further. So. If you like this video, give it a like, subscribe, watch my other videos. I just finished a series of unfortunate events, so you can go check that out. Bye!